welcome everyone. And in today's flow, we're going to be moving through shame and guilt. Um, oftentimes, these emotions and feelings get stored in the body, especially in our hips, in our pelvic area, in digestion. So we're going to be moving through a lot of hip opening and twisting. Again, as always, in everything that we do together, make sure that you take what you need, leave what you don't, modify things that don't feel good, and just flow to the tune of your own body. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start in a seated position, whether that's in a tall kneel, cross-legged, sitting up on a block if you have those, or on pillows. We're going to just start to tune into the breath with some movements and twisting of the spine gently. So on your in-breath, you'll reach the hands up, sweep the air up, up and around you. And then exhale, twisting towards the right, anchor the palm of the left hand to the outside of the right knee. Back hand moves to the base of the sacrum for a twist. Inhaling back up through center. Exhaling to twist to the other side. Maybe taking the eyes to a close if that's comfortable to really feel into the body and how this movement resonates. Allowing the breath to move up to the fingertips and out, allowing the spine to rinse out anything that feels stuck or heavy in the torso and chest. Moving through a couple more times on each side. And inhaling back through center, making your way to a tabletop position. So shoulders stacking over the wrists, hips stacking over the knees. Just a slight pull up and in of the low belly to protect the back. We're going to extend the right heel back behind us, lifting the foot up off the ground. And then cross the right foot over to the left, creating a side bend stretch in the right side body. Two more times to inhale. Exhale, cross over. Inhale. Exhale, crossing over. And then once you return back through center, right knee comes down to meet the left, switching sides here. So left heel comes up. Exhale, brings the right foot over, or the left foot over towards the right. In breath, takes it up. Exhale, crosses it over. Last one here. Exhale, cross it over. And meeting back in tabletop. You're going to turn that right foot out so it comes to be parallel to the short edge of the mat. As the left foot comes long, Big toe pointed towards the long edge of the mat. Take the right hand and place it to the center so that it's in line with the knee and the foot. And you'll open up here for a modified, open up here for a modified Ardachandrasana or half moon. Maybe bringing the left foot up for balance or keeping it rooted on the ground. Thinking of the hips pulling forward, opening of the chest. Gazing down to the hand if that feels better in the neck, or maybe up towards the ceiling. And breathing here, really feeling the expansion of your body, taking up space here. And if your foot was lifted, gently begin to lower that down towards the ground. Hand comes down, 
meeting back in that tabletop position, staying facing where you are. I'm just going to shift over so that I can come open to face you. So this time, bring the left palm under the face, opening that left foot up. Right foot comes to be parallel, extending it out towards the back edge of the mat or your space where you are, and then opening up the hands, shifting the hips forward. Noticing what it's like to take up space and take up room and not have to feel small wherever you are. Even if you don't have a lot of space, just envision long lines of energy extending from the fingertips, crown of the head, foot. Maybe that foot lifts up. Breathing here. And then coming back down through center. Meeting back in tabletop. We'll gently tuck the toes and begin to walk forward, rolling all the way up into a stand. From here, walking towards that front edge of the mat, or space if you don't have a mat, front space so that you have room to step back. You're going to step your right foot back, left foot forward. You can either stay on the ball of the toe or open up into a warrior two position where the back foot is turned out about 45 degrees. Again, depends on how the back of the calf feels. If it's super tight, you can always just stay up in this buoyant position, just making sure the hips are nice and square. Keeping that front leg straight at first, you're going to inhale, reach the hands up, and then exhale, bend into the knee, pull the elbows back, reaching the chest forward, gaze forward. Taking that with your breath in to extend long up tall, exhale to pull the heart, pull the chest, bend into the knee. Again, making sure that that knee is staying behind the toe. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, pull back. Two more like this. <sighs> Maybe breathing out through the mouth, letting it go. And then your in-breath steps you forward. Switching sides, so left foot goes back. Again, taking that position of the back foot that feels most comfortable to you. Straining out through both legs. And then on your exhale, rooting down into the ground, feeling energy and fire in the hands, power in the chest. A few more times here at your own pace, taking this with your own breath. Rebalancing if you bobble or fall out, just coming back to the posture wherever you came out of it. <sighs> Last one here. And step it forward and just stand into Dasana, mountain pose, feet rooted into the ground, palms turned forward. Just noticing the internal state of affairs, any shifts in the body, shifts in the mind. Practice is all about noticing, being aware, and allowing what shows up to just be present with you instead of trying to shove it away or move through it. Instead, maybe trying to move with it in these last few moments of practice. And then from here, we're going to come down into a seat. So you're going to make a pinwheel shape with your foot. So let's start with the right side. So the right shin is going to come parallel to your body. Left hip might be up slightly. That's totally fine. Just making sure that this feels OK in the knees. If this feels at all uncomfortable, you can always just shift out of this position and return back into the Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon position. But from here, keeping the knee close to, or the left knee close to the right foot, we're going to take gate pose. So taking the right hand down to the outside of the right hip and adjusting its distance as needed based on the length of your arm. So my arms are a little bit shorter, so I'm bringing it closer to my body. 
And from here, you can stay on the ground. So your inhale is going to sweep the left hand on the horizon, and you're just going to open up, looking to the right. Exhale, coming back. Or you'll take the hips up, lift the hips forward, open the heart a little bit, root into the right hand. Exhale to come down. We'll take this three more times, choosing the variation that feels good in your body. Last two here. And last one. And then gently rocking back onto the hands, bringing the knees forward, and just gently windshield wipering them back and forth. Switching sides here. So taking the same position. Again, keeping that knee close to the right knee, close to the inside of the foot, so you're having a stable base if you do choose to lift up. If you choose to stay on the ground, just make sure that that feels good in the knee. Place the left hand down, soft bend in the elbow. Again, inhale sweeps you up towards the left. Exhale brings you back. Feel free to lift up onto the shins if that feels okay. Opening the heart and hips. And three more here. Making sure that the breath is the priority of this movement. So you're always moving through and with it instead of allowing it to hold and stay stuck in the chest. Last one. Bring your hands back. Feet come forward. Windshield wiper the feet back and forth. And then slowly make your way onto your back. Again, maybe grabbing for the backs of the thighs so the roll down is nice and gentle. We're going to take supine twist. So allow the knees to fall towards the left. Body comes open towards the right. Feeling free to stay here. Or if you'd like, you can come all the way to side lying. And taking the right hand like a bow and arrow, you'll just slide it down the length of the arm, across the chest. Open to the right, and then just repeat if that feels okay. And if not, you know, like I said before, just take whatever position feels good and just breathe here. Allowing the spine to be open. And then when you're ready, moving through center and just switching sides. Always an option to stay longer if you'd like. Maybe you take bow and arrow on this side, reaching left hand to stack palm to palm. As you exhale, sliding it down your arm across the chest, open to the left. Exhaling to close. Inhaling to open. Or staying as you are. And gently bringing the knees in, hug the knees into the chest, the armpits. And then bring the soles of the feet to touch. Allow the knees to go wide. Feel a lengthening of the tailbone here, and if this feels okay in the hips, we'll stay for a few moments, but if not, you can always extend the feet onto Shavasana. Just resting here. And allowing, again, the body to feel expansive, three-dimensionally, up and down towards the sky and the earth outwards, and with every exhale from here on out, see if you can soften anywhere in the body, even if it's just, even if it's just a touch. Letting go of anything that you still be holding on to or that is lingering left. When you're ready, bring a little 
this to a close. Rolling onto one side, up into a seat. Keeping the eyes heavier closed. Pausing for a moment to acknowledge your enoughness in this moment. Knowing that you are enough right here, right now. Breathing into that. And then gently blinking the eyes open and returning back into your day.